so uh, I will focus mainly on the national procedures that, that, that we have in, in Albania, yeah. uh, considering that we are still a member state and uh, regulations do not apply, but saying that uh, doesn't mean that uh, the Albanian participants did not enjoy the uh, trainings, <laughs> uh, but they were very curious to know about it and how these regulations apply in all the thir three seminars that we have organized uh, in Albania. Um, I uh, will cover small claims procedure in Albania and uh, I will explain also shortly the um, equivalent procedure that uh, uh, is uh, to, to, to the order for payment uh, because we do not have uh, a European or not a European, oh, but we do not, not have an order for payment, uh, yes. a national procedure as well. Yes. So the, the structure of my presentation first will focus on is like that. So first we'll focus on the small claims procedure in Albania and then uh, the, analyze one uh, mechanism that might be similar to an order for payment. Uh, in terms of small claims, I will uh, cover first the purpose and then the scope of application, some particularities of the small claims procedure uh, in Albania. And then um, I will draw a difference between the Albanian small claims procedure and the European small claim procedure. And uh, we'll bring some data about the, how these uh, procedures uh, are implemented in, in Albania. So in terms of the purpose of the uh, a small claims procedure in Albania, uh, it, it must be first emphasized that it's, it's a new procedure. It's only uh, stipulated in, or introduced in 2017 in the framework of the justice reform uh, uh, under some uh, amendments made to the Code of Civil Procedure. Uh, the aim of such procedure is obviously increasing the efficiency of the judicial systems uh, by regulating the uh, adjudication of small claims uh, in a simpler and a faster procedure. And then, of course, uh, it uh, has as a, another main objective to increase the access to justice, and uh, this is specific to, to uh, the situation uh, that uh, Albanian courts are now uh, under because of the justice reform. Uh, one purpose of the of the uh, introducing small claims is also to reduce courts backlogs. Um, it should be emphasized as well that the European small claims procedure in Albania was uh, introduced taking into account the regulation uh, on establishing a European small claims uh, procedure. In terms of scope of application of this procedure, uh, it should be mentioned that it is limited based on two specific criteria. First, uh, taking into account the subject matter of the dispute, and it uh, covers only claims arising out of um, uh, contractual relationships, thus excluding non-contractual damage. And then uh, the second limitation uh, concerns the amount of the dispute, uh, which is up to 20 times the minimum wage. This is a recent amendment only uh, introduced only on 2021. Uh, I, I put it there that the minimum wage in Albania currently is um, 3,000, uh, 30,000 uh, lek, which is about uh, 250 euros. So it would uh, be a, a, a small claim, a claim which is up to around 5,000 euro uh, or just uh, uh, 600,000 lek. Um, what are the particularities of the small claims procedure in Albania? Um, some of the main features are the possibility to conduct the procedure entirely in, in written. Um, of course, there is uh, the opportunity that the court exceptionally might hold, might hold an oral hearing if it deems so uh, appropriate. Then it's the opportunity as well to use electronic means of communication to hear the parties, which means that uh, there is a possibility to hold remote hearings 
and that's stipulated in Article 285 of uh, A of the Code of Civil Procedure, but uh, it must be emphasized here that the, the uh, current uh, use of technology uh, in, in Albanian courts does not uh, uh, allow for uh, at least using video conferences. Uh, and uh, another feature is the fact that uh, uh, the, the, the new provisions of the civil code provide for the opportunity to hear the witness uh, by video conference as well, or to take just a written statement, uh, which is uh, not common in regular uh, proceedings. Um, it is... Um, also quite similar to, to uh, European small claims procedure. The fact that when, uh, along with the claim, uh, there is also a counterclaim uh, submitted by the uh, respondent then, and the value of this counterclaim exceeds the, the, the amount of um, 600,000 lakh, then uh, the trial shall be conducted according to the general provisions. Uh, um, of, for, for ordinary trials and not anymore as a small claim procedure. In terms of costs, um, this is something which has to be fixed actually, because there are no specific court fees provided only for or specifically for small claims, uh, but the fees that are stipulated for, for general claims are applied to small claims as well. And currently uh, the, the, the fee would be uh, 3,000 lakh or around 25 euro if it is applied, uh, uh, if there is a claim of a value up to around 800 euro. And the fee would be uh, higher if um, the, the, the amount of the claim is above 800 euro and it would be just 1% of the value of, of the claim. So there might be different fees uh, despite the fact that uh, uh, we have um, just a small claim. Um, uh, it is interesting as well, the introduction of this new rule of uh, uh, providing for the opportunity to, or, or actually it's, it's a, an a obligation uh, uh, to render an unreasoned decision if the parties within three days from its service do not notify the court in writing that they will appeal uh, the decision before the courts of appeal. Um, generally, under uh, Code of Civil Procedure and under the Albanian Constitution, the awards have to be reasoned. And this is the reason why uh, there has been a debate whether such provision uh, might be unconstitutional uh, considering that the jurisprudence of the Albanian Constitutional Court has stated many times that the reasoning of the decision is a guarantee to the due process or because it shows that the parties have been heard uh, and gives them the uh, opportunity to uh, appeal the, the, the decision. But it's not just this, the problem uh, with regard to this uh, provision. There are also some practical uh, issues concerning that. Uh, the first and the main issue is it is not clear under this provision whether uh, at what time basically the, the decision becomes final uh, because the introduction of these three-day time limits to notify the court to have the, uh, the judgment or decision in writing uh, is not in itself uh, uh, a an appeal time limit. The appeal time limit is just 15 days. Um, and that puts the confusion whether the parties can exercise appeal after the three day, uh, three day time limit has expired and they have not notified the court that they want to appeal. Uh, here, uh, there have been cases where uh, the court of appeal has allowed such appeal. Uh, so this this is the, the situation with this the application of this um, article. Uh, the reason why it was introduced and actually by most of the judges was appreciated because it reduces uh, the, uh, the work for, for judges. They do not have to reason a, a decision uh, concerning small claims procedure. If the uh, 
uh, party does not want to to appeal it. Um, but it's it's uh, problematic. Uh, its application is problematic currently, and we will see how how it uh, uh, will uh, will be applied uh, uh, even later. Uh, and another feature of, of uh, small claims procedure in Albania is the fact that uh, its appeal against the decision of first instance is uh, allowed, but it's not allowed recourse to the High Court. Um, and that goes to the spe uh, to speedier procedures. Uh, Going to the main differences between the Albanian small claim procedure and the European small claim procedure. Um, first, we can draw a difference uh, in the scope of application. Uh, the Albanian uh, small claim procedure has a narrower scope of application uh, if we would consider that uh, the subject matter of disputes, it's more limited because it's limited only to contractual disputes. Uh, and there's no provision in the code. Uh, and basically it is possible to apply the rules either to domestic or cross-border disputes. Uh, as well as uh, as of 2021, as I mentioned, uh, there is no difference about the amount of the dispute because now uh, it's almost 5,000 euro as well or under the Albanian uh, small claims procedure. Uh, in terms of, of uh, uh, procedural acts, uh, the Albanian small claims procedure is not a standardized one uh, because there are no standard form to be used and especially there are no uh, rules, special uh, rules uh, regarding the content uh, of the of the procedural acts, uh, considering uh, not only the claim but also the statement of, of uh, defense. Uh, another uh, distinct feature would be would be that the Albanian small claims procedure uh, lacks special procedural deadlines for adjudicating small claims. So basically, the the uh, the deadlines that apply to regular trials uh, are also applied to, to small the adjudication of small claims. Uh, so uh, no shorter deadlines for submitting the statement of defense or uh, or even for the adjudication of the case at the first or, uh, instance or a second instance. Um, there is also no possibility of using technology for filing the claim electronically uh, or even answering to the claim electronically. Um, and there is also no possibility to pay court fees online or using credit cards. Uh, so in terms of technology, we need some uh, progress. And these were the main differences between the, the small claims procedure in Albania and the European small claim procedure. Uh, in terms of uh, how these new rules of the Albanian Code of Civil Procedure are implemented in, in uh, Albania, uh, there has been a study uh, implemented by the University of Tirana, uh, just a recent one, uh, of uh, 2019 and uh, 2020, uh, in which uh, oh, the result of which showed that the, uh, the, the introduction of small claim procedure in Albania has not brought a, an increase in the number of small claims filed in the courts, or even in the, the types of the disputes that were uh, subject to, to these claims. For instance, uh, uh, the object of, of this study focus, uh, was focused on uh, 2006 uh, judgments of 2016 and 2018. And uh, why were these uh, years chosen was precisely because 2018, uh, the new uh, provisions on uh, uh, small claims procedure were introduced. And in 2016, uh, there no, uh, did not exist such procedure. But uh, the, the cases that were taken into account to make the to, uh, to figure out this to give these figures uh, 
were uh, taken uh, taken into account that the value uh, or the, the applying the same criteria that uh, these claims would consider as small claims. Uh, so what, what did it show? It was just like 377 claims uh, filed during 2018, not just filed, but also resolved by a judgment. And uh, while a larger number was found in 2016. Uh, in terms of subject matter as well of disputes, uh, most of the disputes arose out of um, a contracts providing internet access or cell phone service contracts or telephone service contracts so, and it continues to continue and still is quite uh, the same uh, in terms of um, uh, how fast these procedures are the the, the study showed that uh, there has been uh, an uh, increase in speed relative increase in speed. Uh, for instance, in uh, the adjudication of claims, which uh, uh, would be considered small claims in 2016, uh, the, the average length was 135 days, while in 2018, uh, it dropped to 98 days. And this is just the, the average. Um, but you, you can see in the graph, uh, in the slide, that uh, the, the red line shows the, the number uh, and the length of proceedings uh, during 2018. And uh, in less, 57.08% uh, of the cases was, uh, were decided in less than 100 days in 2018, while in 2016, it was just 40% of the cases that were uh, decided uh, uh, within the first 100 days. Uh, in terms of, uh, th that was for the, the, the features of uh, European uh, Albanian small claims procedure and the, it, the implementation of it during these uh, 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 first years of uh, its enactment. And in terms of uh, uh, Euro, uh, European order for payment, which is obviously not uh, uh, applied, but uh, uh, it, there is no national uh, order for payment procedure in Albania. Uh, whether there is any equivalent mechanism, uh, the only we could draw uh, the attention to is the, the law on, on uh, late payments in contractual and commercial obligations. Uh, which in Article 17 uh, provides that monetary obligations which arise from commercial legal actions which have not been paid within the uh, relevant payment period uh, constitute an executive title and are uh, executed by, by the bail bailiff regardless of the value when two uh, specific criteria are met. So the creditor has delivered the goods or performed the services according to the contract and the law, and the debtor has not contested the, the obligation. It, uh, considering that the law provides that these monetary obligations constitute an executive title, uh, uh, we consider it as equivalent to an order for payment because uh, the procedure well, to enforce it would be applying to the court for an enforcement order. And then after obtaining the enforcement order, you apply to uh, the bailiff and uh, compulsory execution can initiate. Uh, so it's not precisely an order for payment procedure, but might be considered as equivalent to, to it. Um, so that was what we had prepared for this presentation. Thank you for your attention. And if there is any question, we'd be like, we would be happy to, to answer. Thank you.